Hey folks, I have something really, really cool here and you don't get to see this very often. And it probably will come as no surprise since I will probably name the video what it is. It is a Glock cutaway. Now these are primarily reserved for law enforcement and for Glock instructors but I got one because I think I've probably said this a time or two it's an understatement uh, I am writing a Glock book and I needed pictures of it so they sent me one it's on temporary loan from Glock here's a little bit closer view this is a Glock 17 they, they do have a few different models of it it comes a uh, Glock 19 and I'm not sure if like the 26 I'm not sure if it comes in that but they have a few different models. They also have different generations. This is a Gen 4, but I have seen Gen 3 and Gen 2 and Gen 1. Get a good look at the interior of the magazine. Now these are serial numbered, just like a firearm. These do count as firearms, even though you can't fire them. They, I had to have it transferred, just as a standard firearm. and everything else so now my camera screen that I'm looking at is on the left hand side of my camera I need to be on the right hand side to operate this uh, efficiently but I'm gonna try to stay on the left side here but kinda wanna show you some of the different components here this of course is the barrel It functions just like a regular Glock, except of course you can't load around into it. That would be catastrophic if you did. Here's uh, the lugs, the bottom of the barrel. You can see right here where the barrel lug unlatches as it's going back. Which is pretty neat. Now on here, the firing pin does not have the little, the, I don't know what you want to call it, like the nipple, the actual pin part of it, it does not have one, but you could very easily switch it out to one that did if you had a, uh, had a devious intent, but <laughs> you would regret it, like I said. You don't want to fire this. There's the firing pin safety. So watch as I fire, lifts up, and boom, the firing pin is able to go past it. As it cocks, see it no longer can go past. You can't, there's no way for you to push it past. It cannot get past the firing pin safety. Unless you pull the trigger. And here is a cutout of the trigger safety. So you cannot pull it back. So simple yet so ingenious. And then here and back. <clears throat> That's the little leg that sticks off the back cruciform there. Pulling back. And you can see back here that's the back you can watch the fire this right now as it's coming back there's the leg on the firing pin now watch as it goes back it's going to drop down and release the firing pin and on this side here's the firing pin safety right there and see how the trigger bar leg pushes it up so it's out of the way so that it can fire and then here, back here, is the back of the trigger bar and the connector. Here's the underside of the slide. And here's the frame. There's actually not a lot that has been cut out of the frame. Here's a back view of the trigger being fired. 
It's pretty awesome. This thing is a lot of fun. Uh, just to kind of look at it. And I'm around a lot of people that are new to firearms and have a lot of questions and stuff like that. And I, it always kind of seems like I'm their go-to person with any firearm questions. And it's really cool to be able to show them how a Glock operates because a lot of people have questions. It's a handgun that's in the new, you know, in the media a lot. A lot of people have a lot of questions. It's in a lot of movies. People talk about it a lot. It's probably the most talked about gun of our time, that in the AR-15. So a lot of people have questions about it, man. It's really cool to be able to show them how they operate, how the safeties operate, and why, in fact, it is a safe firearm. So if you have any questions or anything, let me know. Semper Fi.